A lot of my rentals were simple houses, just little Walmart houses for Walmart people. There was nothing fancy about them. 1,000 square foot, 1,100 square foot, 1,200 square foot. The neighborhoods weren't spectacular. Of course, the designs were not spectacular. But one day, I was with a person who was thinking about becoming my partner, and they wanted to know who buys these houses. So I had just happened to pick him up in my truck and say, let's go, I have a closing. You wanna know who buy these houses? You're gonna to go to this closing with me. Now I had no idea what to expect, but when we got to the closing, we went to the title company and there was this family and they were dressed in their Sunday finest. All of them were dressed to the nines. The man had on a suit with a bolo tie. The wife and the three daughters had on long gowns as like prom gowns something you would really put on to go to something lavish. Not that those clothes were expensive or that you would have been impressed by those clothes, but you could tell it was the best clothes they had. They, they picked the best clothes they had and they did this closing. And then when everyone left, the closer who kind of missed the point said, what the hell was that all about? They were all dressed up like they were going to a wedding or something. And I looked at my potential partner across the way and at that closer and I said, these people are proud. It's one of the biggest moments in their life. They're fixing to own a house probably for the first time since any of them have been born. And it was a special occasion and they wanted to mark the day and they dressed up like that. Then later, after that conversation, we went outside to go get in our cars and they were out there taking pictures, holding their papers, and there wasn't a dry eye on either one of them, any of them. They were all crying and they were all holding up their keys and they were taking videos and they were talking into the camera. And I just looked at both of those people who had questioned why they had got so dressed up. And I said, there you go. Look at them. That's happy. He says, we shouldn't judge the calories of these houses by what we live in. There are people that come from places that have dirt floors. There are people that come from places where they can't even own a property. It's not even within the realm. And so when we offer owner financing, even on simple houses or simple properties, or even mobile homes for that matter, don't underestimate how important it is to this person as an owner. And it's, again, I can't tell you enough, the difference between the mindset of these owners and the tenants is night and day. You wanna solve your cash flow problem. You want to solve the problem of move-ins and moves out and people tearing down your property or running off in the middle of the night. This is how you do it. And I venture to say when you try it once or twice, you'll start converting all your properties as they come due or as you get past capital gains, which is another strategy. Rent the houses for 12, 13, 14, 15 months. And then after you're past short-term capital gains time, then the next time they come available, you sell it owner financed. Put yourself in a different tax uh, billing place. But that's really the most important thing is the mindset of the person that's in your house. Complete difference.